<laughs> I should probably put my seatbelt on. Hey, on up two seconds. Wait, is it recording? Yeah, it is. <gasps> yeah, boy. Really sneeze. <laughs> Outfit of the day. Outfit of the day. people that can't read. I can't even read that. What's that say? I uh, see one that says Chapel Teal. Uh, the ones over there says Fox Creek. I uh, think, think we're in the right line. I can't read that one because the guy's horrible are holding a damn sign. You have one job, bro. Most doing on the top. As to pick up the sound. It's probably going to sound awful while I'm touching it while it's recording, but find out how You, you didn't feels. get your bo goodie bag, so you got it for you.
You have to speak up for the music. So what's this one? 1951 Bentley. <laughs> Mark, Mark 6. Mark 6, okay. I don't even see how much of the car I've got. That's my granddad. <laughs> and this is his second car? Yep. And what's this one? A 1995 Jaguar X300. X300? Is it a Sovereign or is it not? It's a Sovereign, yes. Yeah, it's a Sovereign. Because some guy yelled it at us and I was like, I think that's it. And what's this one? His pride and joy. 1938 Rolls Royce 2530. What does a 2530 mean? It means 25 horsepower. Ah. 30 is that, brake horsepower. Is, is, that, is that a lot? <laughs> it, is, it is for the age of the car. For the age of the car, most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. 38. Yeah. 1938. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 200 year old wine forfeit. slept really well. Do I look like I've slept very well here? I don't think so. Yes? Where's your mother? Just in your phone. Oh, she's mother. Who's that? Who's that? Maybe baby Archie. Sorry about the lack of content from today. I am literally trying to smash out an assignment last second and so far it's going well. Um, I've also decided I'm going to ride to work tomorrow. So I had to move my bike and I keep getting distracted. So more content coming soon. I'm, I'm working a lot and then yeah, getting a lot of things done. So. going to say I, I have no idea if I actually set the alarm on this thing I don't think I've ever shown you guys hasn't been much vlogging happening <laughs> during this vlog but um I went for a ride to work and to and from work and it went pretty good I installed it once uh, hill starts kill me but um yeah I got some shoes got these for 20 bucks I've been eyeing these off for like forever and I thought these go with my dress so I got these shoes got them from spinless 
chunky heels with straps over it. But yeah, um, tomorrow morning I'm gonna quickly run down, get my nails done. As you can see, I got my hair dead. My hair dead. get our nails done with well, my nails done I don't know if you're gonna get your done no, but I'm gonna no, get no. mine done gonna get my nail done my nail could they not they look very much like workers ones my look how red the our vines are the vines. Oh, I was gonna help but it <laughs> <laughs> look pretty you got my nail done I got full of manicure because I was too scared to say no, but I thought treat yourself. <laughs> you got nice purple. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the girl that did it was really nice too. She was really lovely. She rubbed my hand. My hands feel soft. <laughs> she rubbed my hands. <laughs> she rubbed my hand. And it felt really nice. And she put a warm towel in my hands too, and that felt nice. This car coming. So hair is done. Sorry about the weird angle. It's the only best angle. Straighten my hair out just so it doesn't look so. Um. So yeah, now I'm just getting makeup done. I don't want to ruin my straightened hair. Really. Hey, ever since I've been using that La Roche Pro Se stuff, I've found that um, my skin's been a lot better with um, like my pimples and stuff. So I rode to work yesterday. It was the first ever time I ever actually rode to work. So it's like my first ever proper kind of like solo trip. And um, it's going to bake a lot of my face. Especially where I'm mainly oily. Anyway, um, so I was feeling quite proud of myself and on the way back there's this really rough turn and for some reason I really struggle with turning right. I think it's because I know that there's oncoming traffic coming, I don't know, I don't get it. Um, anyway, so there's that, hold on, I think you have something. I also bought some new eyeliner yesterday because I saw put on my eyeliner, I burnt my eyes. Anyway, um, so yeah, I thought I'd ride back home and um, what's it called? I also got some new eyebrow stuff um, and there's this really hard right turn and I saw how busy it was so the person behind me was quite close and so I thought, oh, should I keep going, do a U-turn in like the supermarket car park and then come back and um, I was thinking, no, you know, I've got this, you know, kind of thing. What's it called? So I was like, oh yeah, you know what, screw it, I'll do that. Because the car that was behind me was quite close to me, it was quite impatient. So I thought I'd do a U-turn and, and when I did a U-turn in the car park, hill starts are what killed me. So I was stopped on the top of a hill, the turn left onto the road that I was trying to turn right on. And um, there was this lovely lady in the car behind me, she was like in a blue master or something like that not that that's relevant and um i went to go i had like the most perfect biggest gap i've ever seen like while riding and i was like oh my god yes no beautiful because that road is always so busy and i went to go and i stole my bike and i was kind of like Ugh, great so i waved to the person behind me like sorry you know anyway i could hear her put a window down and i was thinking oh god i'm gonna get yelled at i'm gonna get yelled at because i'm taking forever and um, she pops her head out and she says, you're doing well, darling. You know, you know, keep trying, you got this. And I was like, what? And um, yeah, it just goes to show, just be patient with learner drivers. Um, 
Because we never do anything like that. Oh, even like professional drivers, you know, none of that's done on purpose, 90% of the time. So, you know, just remember patience. Eyes are done. Right, this is the final makeup look, and I look why as a ghost, but it's the best we're gonna get. Oh. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you <gonna> try? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't do it on TikTok. <laughs> Which way we're going? Dan Goodwood Road? No. Uh, and like Holloway. <laughs> <laughs> graduated it's a very surreal kind of feeling yeah I can't believe it's actually over it's like the last three years um, you know I've done this degree with all these beautiful people I'm real that's over and the one thing that I found probably the hardest and it kept thinking back to it today was when I was in high school I didn't have the best on teachers, I've had teachers say that I've struggled to amount to things because of my mental state and you know I've been to you know um, other people in the school about it and I've talked to multiple people about it and, and no one would do anything and they just point the fact that I wasn't mentally well and that um, there wasn't anything that they could do about it at it but it forced me to leave subjects. I moved school because of it. I got so bad at one school and no one would take me seriously and it wasn't until I selected a few teachers in year 12. Like I still had the problem in year 12 but I had a really good group of teachers and you know I still really struggled to believe in myself. I'm not dropping out of a subject I was very passionate about music because of a teacher she was not into anything I wanted to do and was consistently telling me that I should look into something else, something else, something that was a bit more ladylike in her words. Within that I had a really amazing art teacher. When no one else believed in me she did and I ended up getting an award for my artwork but you know at the end of the day sometimes it's just nice to know at least one person's written for you and um to like finally achieve something that so many teachers have told me in the past 
that I wouldn't be able to achieve or the doubt that I'd be able to achieve something like this. You know, it's a massive in their face. Screw you to the teachers that didn't believe in me because you messed me up big time. Yeah, so today was a bit emotional. I was a bit shocked that, you know, it's finally happened. That was my vlog on today. And yeah, I appreciate you guys sticking around for this journey. If you guys stuck around towards the end. Yeah, it feels good for it to be over and done with. I ate so much at dinner. Way too much, but that's fine. We'll pay for it later. There was a couple of times I was really close to tears. And I'm like, mm. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys for joining me. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.